hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is my lovely client lauren and she is in today for a redesign so i removed her previous design which was just a real basic um nude set lauren's got stuck in an awful rut of having nude nails normally with the same glitter so today i was pleased to hear well not today because i did these last week i was pleased to hear that she wanted some colour but it was pastels so no brights yet but maybe next time um so the base colour on the baby finger was I think it was warm beige from Nao Nails um and then these two colours are from CJP and they are soft lemon and two fairy so I'm doing like the double ombre vertical ombre on an ombre um on this baby finger um the brush that i'm using is my tracy lou size 12 brush i'll leave everything in the description box of what i use um, my website is live now as well which is great um so yeah just kind of perfecting that blend but to be fair these two colors do it for you so there's no really need to keep going in so then i'm gonna do a marble on this nail i'm gonna use um a mix um the whitey color is a mix i made up myself it's like a milky white and then i'm gonna pick up peri winkle soft lemon and two fairy and just blend the colors together to create a marble So whenever I'm not 100% happy with a marble now, I always add glitter. <laughs> so this glitter is um, Sahara May and it's from my range of glitters. Um, my website is trace, just literally tracelou.co.uk. I'm only delivering to the UK at the moment as well. Um, so I'm just going to add little specks of that glitter to the nail so this finger is going to be one of those uh you know where you've got the strip of color or strip of glitter down the middle we're doing um a blend a strip of blend <laughs> a strip of blend a strip of pink and yellow blended together um so i'm just trying to keep this strip as thin and um straight as possible so we don't have to file too much um so yeah i'm using the um two fairy and soft lemon and i'm going to blend the two together So once I'm happy, just leave it. I definitely wasn't happy by the look of that. 
Am I going to carry on? Hopefully. Yeah, because the bed looked nice in the end. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So once I'm happy, cap that strip in crystal glass. Especially if you do... A lot of people do this with glitter. And it does look really good with glitter. Um, and make sure that you do cap it when you use your glitter as well. Because obviously you're going to file it away otherwise. So yeah, just cap that thin strip in crystal glass. So the pointer finger is going to be just a full glitter nail, um, but I wanted, um, because Zahara Mate is, is like an iridescent colour, you can kind of see whatever colour is on the base, so I wanted to create a um, an ombre, so you, want, so you can see the two colours underneath, so I'm using the Periwinkle and Two Fairy, and just a thin coat, obviously I'm just trying to build up the colour here. You don't want it too wishy-washy. You want to see the colour underneath. So I'm just building up the colour. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to whack Zahara May on top of that. And then cap it in clear. So the farm is just going to be a ombre using the warm, I'm sure it's warm beige, it's either warm, it's either warm beige or soft beige, I'm, I think it's warm beige. Um, just using the pink I think, the pink I think, I think it's the pink. And then we just add a little bit of that glitter, like a little swoosh through the centre. Um, just for some added sparkle just checking out here I was checking to see what we could do just making it up as we went along really um, so yeah pink on the tip blend it back and then I'm just gonna add a little dash of sparkle So now, just quickly, a little speed through. I'm just going to cap all the nails in um, crystal glass.
So cap them all, get that done and out of the way because you're going to come in and file this little strip and you don't want to then get all dust on the nails and then cap them because you might get a little bit of dust trapped inside. Um, so we're just going to file this line nice and straight so it's a perfectly crisp, perfect straight dead line. And then I'm going to come in with that nude colour down each side um, and fill the areas. So just a quick file um, with my e-file, making sure everything is all smooth and even and we've got that cuticle area lovely and flush. I'm using my Sayang K35 for this and my carbide flat top bit. I needed to leave the, the middle finger because I wanted to use a different bit for that. Um, but yeah, I'll do that and then I'll shape them with my hand file. Um, I'll buff them and then we are ready for top coat. So now we're going to top coat them in the Gel Bottle Ink Extreme Shine Top Gloss and I'll cure, I'll get her to cure, sorry, in the lamp for 60 seconds. I applied Naf Stuff Cuticle Oil in Watermelon and we are good to go. These looked so lovely, so good in the flesh, so good on camera. I loved them so much. I really did. So, um... I really hope you enjoyed this video too. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.